guys, hello. <laughs> this feels so weird. I haven't streamed, and I know technically I'm not streaming, I'm recording, but I haven't done any kind of game recording in like, I don't know how long. Um, I have about an hour and a half. Um, well, first of all, the reason I haven't been uploading recently is because my brother got married last last week. Yes, last weekend, so he's coming up on, or was it two weeks ago? Good grief. Okay, it'll be two, we two weeks on Saturday, so two weeks ago on the 16th. He got married, so um, my family's been in town uh, because of that, so I haven't had time to stream to set aside for streaming so hence the reason why I've had no content for like two weeks <laughs> two plus weeks so um so yeah so we've just been hanging out as a family enjoying like getting to see everybody because my sister's in town and she lives like halfway across the country and um I rarely ever get to see her and my nieces and my brother-in-law so they're in town for like a month which is nice. <laughs> so, um, uh, so yeah, so spending time with them and my parents and my brother and his new wife has been really fun. So that's why I haven't had any content. So I apologize. Um, I've been trying to do some Sunday streams at least, but even that hasn't worked out because we've been doing stuff every Sunday. So, um, also I'm not doing a face cam today. Sorry. Um, I did shower, but the stressy depressy has been <laughs> hovering for the last few days so I literally haven't showered in like three days so I took a shower so I feel a little bit better but um yeah so my my sister's actually at the airport picking my brother-in-law up right now so um I had like an hour and a half to just record while they're gone <laughs> so um so last time so i said i was done with this game on the stream and i'm not gonna stream it again i don't think um i just i need to finish the game and that's what i've been trying to do um so far unsuccessfully so <laughs> what the plan is right now is to try to record in small segments um so that i can at least get content out for you guys um so right now we're on we're like not even halfway through chapter five, I don't think, but, um, and I've, I've done a, I've done, like, a, um, recap for this game, like, a hundred times, so if you don't know it by now, I've got plenty more videos on my channel, you can go back and watch them, but, um, so, we've gotten the first pyramid, and we're about to get the second one, um, so let's continue and I stopped streaming here because this next pyramid it's the one that's really like the graphics are really high and my computer can't stream it so um all right technology is a creation of humankind humankind is a creation of nature thus technology is the evolution of nature right, we're Sal Trying to re-piece his soul back together. Alright, technology is the perversion of nature, the folly of humankind. Their lust for betterment will be their undoing. Okay. Alright, so again, for those that don't remember, this is Jim, this is Larry's dad. So, what happened to you? As you know, I was once human after accidentally discovering a new world. I also discovered love. I died trying to protect that love. My human form was forfeited and my soul wandered the void for eons. In the endless black, I strive to return home. When I realized it was impossible for me, I found a way to reach into other worlds, a bridge. In order to use such technologies, my soul needed to change. And as I continued to use the bridge, my soul continued to change and evolve. Now I am far from human. What's all this junk? 
These are many of the inventions that I have tinkered with. As an engineer in a past life, it seems the desire to create is still within me. A lingering rem remnant of my lost humanity. Be right back. Okay. So, there's this hallway door. And we are going to go into door... Three. But, let me check something real quick. Technically, we've already gotten this, like, five times. <laughs> but I, d <clears throat> I didn't record it when I was streaming it because I missed a tile. So I'm attempting to get this on this go-round. So I'm just making sure I've got all the tiles up to this point. And it looks like I missed one again. It's the green one. That's the one that I missed last time. I don't know which one that is. I think it's the first one in the cemetery. I don't know. Okay, so forget that. I have, so that clip, I actually went through and recorded that separately. So that clip is on my channel. It's just, it's under dog achievement completion or something like that and you guys can see that so we're not going to be able to get it on this playthrough i thought we would but i'm missing another um i'm missing another tile and which is stupid because i thought i got it but whatever um okay all right door three Dad, when will mom get out of the hospital? Do you think she'll recognize me with my new face? Dang it, Sal, can we not do this today? I just miss her. She's dead, she's dead, mom isn't coming home. What about the man with the dog face? We've been over this. Nobody believes in me, but I did see the dog man. That's enough, Sal. I chose the pink one because that's mom's favorite color. I hope she'll recognize me with it on. That's purple, kid, but okay. I mean, you are half blind, so we understand. <laughs> okay, so this is the part that I couldn't play because it's the graphics are too high. Okay, I've been looking for this spot. I spent so much time out in these woods searching for some evidence that this was real, that I wasn't losing my mind. The council went to great lengths covering it up. They had... They had hidden it with a concealing spell, as they called it. Of course, what they consider magic is merely science that they don't understand. That makes sense, though. I have to be honest, it's a pretty dreary way to explain magic. Anyway, I'm guessing you have some hidden things of your own around here, yeah? The second pyramid is here. Okay, so we have to find that. Okay, so let me... Hold on, I actually took a picture of this, because... It was like this this puzzle is one of the ones that like confuses me the most <laughs> so I took it I hope I didn't delete oh, shoot did I delete it doggone it uh. I deleted it dang it okay well hopefully we can figure this out <laughs> if not I might need to consult a walkthrough To do this. Okay, so that's that's the input for over here. Yes, okay. So, so I'm gonna take a picture of this because this is what I need a picture of.
right, that's right. We'll see after I put this in if it's not red or not. Dark, dark, light, dark. Okay, that's right. Sweet. Okay. The other one's over here somewhere, I think. Don't, don't ask me why I overcomplicated that. I just did. <laughs> like, trying to f figure out the puzzle. Um, I way overcomplicated it. Okay. Another one lit up. Keep going, Ash. I'm getting stronger. You don't look so great, Sal. I'm gonna figure this out. Let's get you back to normal. Also, I can't. I don't think I mentioned this, but this is gonna be a really short. I'm just getting the pyramids for this playthrough. So this playthrough is gonna be. This video is gonna be like 20 minutes long. So, <laughs> sorry, it's not that. It's not gonna be that long. But again, I just want to make sure that I can record it. Again, I'm working on limited time today, but I'm trying to group it into smaller portions. So number one, I'm getting things out quicker for you guys. And then secondly, I'm hoping that with fresh eyes, I can focus better so I don't die. Because that's the only thing that I'm trying to get is I'm trying not to die. So if I can quit... And I'm hoping, I'm hoping there'll be a, like, it'll save at the temple. So once we get the sword, it'll save there and we won't have to do this all over again. But we'll figure that out later. Okay. You don't look so great, Sal. I'm going to figure this out. Let's get you back to normal. Okay. Okay. So this is the west one. dark and then door number four we are the dreamer of all that is okay <laughs> short and sweet we are shadows of a sleepless dream be broken forever your soul may be forever fragmented it is a rare occurrence but not unheard of and not unexpected given the circumstances i can't say i was expecting this it is the reason you are able to drift between worlds it is the only way you will be able to affect change to affect change and bring an end to the devourers why me though because it is what you have chosen what are these pyramids doing exactly when your soul was shattered, so so too was your ability to remain in your home world. It's a typo. The pyramids will merge together those pieces of your soul so that part of your being may once again exist. Man, death is more complicated than I imagined it would be. Is this place a dream? It feels different from reality, hazy and uncertain like a dream. I know I've been here before, somehow. There's no easy answer to this question because there are no words to describe it that you can understand. It is both an 
If the real dream in a physical place, it is solely your mind, and yet it is all minds. It is infinite and finite. It is the dark and the light. It is... Okay, thanks. I think I get the idea. Be right back. <laughs> all right. Are you ready for your first day of school, Sally? I don't know. It'll be fun. You'll get to meet a bunch of kids your age and make lots of new friends. But what if they don't like me? That's impossible. You're the coolest guy I ever met. Me? Of course. I don't want to leave you, Mommy. You don't have anything to be afraid of, my love. The teachers will take good care of you and I'll be right here when you get back. I love you. I love you the most, Sally. Don't you forget it. So, I always thought that he picked up the name Sally after his mom died. Because that's what he was bullied. The kids were bullying him and calling them that. But apparently, apparently his mom called him Sally before she died. That's interesting. I've never noticed that before. Okay. Is this the cave by Wendigo Lake? I don't remember it being so big. Another illusion created by your favorite cult. Whoa, was that a joke from Mr. Serious? No, it is me, Jim Johnson. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna find the last pyramid. Godspeed. Okay, so we're not getting the tiles, because we messed that up. <laughs> Alright, enter the cave. Hello? Whoa, back off, dude. I'm tougher than I look. I'm not afraid to put you down. Hey, I'm not here to cause any trouble. I'm just looking for something I lost. Aren't we all? Well, you better not try anything. I'm watching you. I promise I won't. My name's Sal Fisher. Tala Gray. So what are you doing in these caves, Sal Fisher, besides sneaking up on people? I was just about to ask you the same question. I don't think I've ever seen you around Knockville before. My relatives are from here. I don't visit too often, but my grandfather has recently gone missing. Unfortunately, that tends to happen a lot around here. I hope you find him. Thanks. My grandfather was fascinated by these caves. He used to tell me that our ancestors made all of these paintings. He said that they depicted a warning of a hungry beast that hunts in this land. Have you seen a small metal pyramid around? A small pyramid, huh? I'm guessing that's the thing you lost? Yeah. I haven't seen anything like that around here. Sorry. What about some turning hexagons? You're just out here with a mask on looking for a bunch of shape a bunch of shapes, huh? It's prosthetic. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't be more help with your geometry. Your ancestors were from Knockville? My grandparents say that our ancestors named Knockville, though I could never find evidence of that. I can trace our lineage back a few generations, but then it's all word of mouth after that. These paintings are also pretty odd. They aren't documented anywhere that I could find, and their appearance is very different from other Native American paintings. What do you think it all means? I'm not sure, but I've got a feeling that it has to do with why my grandfather's missing. Is there anything I can do to help? I doubt it, but thanks. What about an evil beast? Hungry, not evil. It's just a beast. It doesn't have morals. It only does what it needs to survive, same as all animals. That's how the story goes, at least. Supposedly, the Grey tribe was traveling through the woods when they saw a large glowing light in the distance. They sent their strongest hunter to check it out. Hours after they had gone, the light went out. A couple more hours after that, the hunter returned with excitement of finding a beautiful lake. The next few months, the tribe migrated to this area to live by the lake. What does this have to do with the beast? I'm getting to that part. So they move to the lake, right? But then people start disappearing in the middle of the night. Turns out the hunter had turned into a beast and was eating people. What did they do? I guess they made a deal with it so that they could continue to live on the land, though they had to make sacrifices to it. Hmm, interesting. If by interesting you mean bullcrap, then yeah. <laughs> you don't believe it? Heck no, it's just some silly story they probably told kids to keep them out of the woods at night. See ya. 
Okay, so she's weird. As are most of the people in this game. Okay. So that wasn't necessary to talk to her, but just to get some background on the story a little bit. Which, I know I've heard the, like, the last name Gray before, but I don't remember how they're connected and all this. I'll have to look that up. Okay. understand what's happening but the third one's activated now will this bring you back my ghost will be able to interact but my body cannot be revived are you sure the prophecies are vague but they suggest that you will take physical form I'm not sure of anything all right let me take care of this last pyramid Was supposed to resurrect you are you okay i it hurts there's another part to todd's notes but i haven't been able to make much sense of them i'm so sorry sal i failed you again you deserve better than this you deserve better than me wait i think i know what it means i know what i have to do okay so um trigger warning for um self-harming because i can't edit this out so um yeah trigger warning. Ash, don't. I would gladly die if it means that you will live. This is how I can make up for everything I've messed up. No! Go save him, Sally Face. I hope we meet again, so trigger warning. Ugh. Okay. Ash, no! How many loved ones will you kill to save the world? What will be left worth saving? You okay, Larry? Yeah, dude, I uh, just got something in my eye. I told you this movie's emotional. It's just so beautiful. I hope they end up together in the end. They deserve happiness after all the crap they've been through. Yeah. Hey, Larry. What's up? Do you... Do you think that anyone could ever love me like they love each other? Who wouldn't love you? Don't be stupid. You're Sally Face. You're perfect, dude. Oh, Larry. Of course Neil can move in. I'm surprised it took you this long to ask, honestly. His current lease is nearing its end now, which is why I waited. I'd be happy to have him at our place. I'm sure Larry will, too. Though, Larry probably won't move in until next year. Right, well, thank you. Neil will be excited to hear the news, and I'll be very glad to have him close by again. That was Todd. Ugh! What's wrong, Sal? I'm just no good at this. I'm sorry for wasting your time. You've got nothing to apologize for. I've been having a great time painting with you. You're an amazing artist, Ash, and a wonderful teacher. I'll never be as good as you, though. Sure you can. All it takes is practice and determination, but only if you work at what Let me try that again. But only if you want it, you know? You don't need to be as good at every- Ugh, Good grief, I can't read. You don't need to be good at everything you do. Some things we do just because they're fun and we like doing them, or even just to spend time with people we like. I guess you're right, and I have been enjoying this time together very much so. 
I'm glad to hear that. Anytime you want to paint or even just to hang out, let me know. Ashley, I wish you would have seen yourself the way I did. You weren't a failure in my eyes. You were always there for me. You gave me hope when I needed it most, even when you saw the horrible things I had done. Even when you couldn't believe the reasons I had to do those things, you stood by me. That means everything. The ritual requ requires one final step. Seize the pl- I cannot read today. Seize the power of the blade of Osiris. Osiris, Osiris, however you say it. Trigger warning for blood. Because there's a lot of it. <laughs> What's happening to me? Ash, can you hear me? Sal? Where are you? The ritual has awakened a power within my being, but I cannot return to your world. You must be my sword in the darkness. This power I feel, this is you? Yes. Holy crap, Sal! Yeah, tell me about it. Whoa! Thank you for trusting me with this. I couldn't have, obta I couldn't have obtained this power on my own, Ash. It's all thanks to you. Let's go kick some cultist butt. Yeah. Okay. So, again, I'm hoping it lets me cut to like if we if we go to the menu at the here at the chapel, I'm hoping it'll I'm hoping it'll save it here. Please. Please, 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 please. Okay, I'm gonna test this. Please save it there. Okay, good. Alright. So, how long have we been recording for? 30 minutes? 27? Okay. That's not too bad. I'll still at least give you guys a little bit of something to watch. Alright. So... Alright, so I know we barely got anything done <laughs> for this episode, but um, I just wanted to get the um, get the rest of the pyramids and get that uploaded for you guys. Um, so that didn't take as long as I thought it would, but well, actually no, actually it did, it, it did take longer than I thought it would because I thought this would be like a ten minute video, <laughs> um, but. Uh, yeah, so I will get this uploaded, um, right now, so, and I'll make an announcement on my Discord that I'm uploading it so that you guys can, whoever wants to watch it can watch it, but, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will finish this and have, um, the rest of it uploaded soon. Again, I'm gonna upload it in pieces, and... I'm not sure exactly how much I'm going to include in the next video because the next thing we have to do is like defeat the um defeat the um the cultists and then it skips back and forth between like little mini games and stuff so I don't know if I'm going to do the rest of the game in one video because there's